Meet a doctor now, a scientist out of Hong Kong, who says she was doing research on COVID-19 in December and January that could have saved lives. But she says her supervisor swept it under the rug. Dr. Li Mengyan says she escaped to the United States to tell her story. She joins me live now for her first TV interview in this exclusive chat today. And welcome, doctor, here. Thank you, yeah, you Thank arrived, you for having me. You arrived in the U.S. at the end of April. You say you're now in hiding. You believe the Chinese Communist government has lied. About what? Yeah, doctor? exactly. Exactly. They are lying. And I have to hide because I know how they treat the whistleblower. And as a whistleblower here, I want to tell the truth of COVID-19 and origins of the SARS-CoV-2 uh, SARS to people, to the world. So I have to keep safety. Okay, doctor. What did the Chinese lie about that you can prove? Okay. First, as I mentioned in the video in Fox, uh, our government already knows that before the end of December, there are over 40 people get infected, but not as they mentioned, like 27. And also, most importantly, there were human to human transmission already at that time. But they keep lying until middle of June, actually 20 June, they admitted. Okay, so y y your claim is that at the end of December, there was human to human transition. And the Chinese exactly. government and the World Health Organization did not cop to that until about three weeks later. If you're yes. right, how would things be different around the world and here in the U.S.? Now? Okay, let me explain to you. First, this is a huge pandemic we have seen in the world. It's more than everything we know in human history. So for that, the timing is very, very important. So if we can stop it early, we can save a lot of life. That's the key point. Okay. So you you have said then, uh, you invited your husband to come with you. He did not. Uh, you have spoken with the FBI. Who is investigating your story, doctor? Uh, FBI have done it, and also many other people from U.S. government. They have done, uh, done it, contacted me. They need to verify my story. Okay, can you prove it, doctor? Uh, for example, I have the receipt that FBI agent leave for me that they have hold my phone, cell phone mm -hmm. from uh, Los Angeles airport and then return it back to me several days later in New York. Yeah, sorry, just to be clear, not can you prove whether or not you talk to the FBI, can you prove your claim that, I can that show Beijing's you lying? Oh, yeah, I have a lot of evidence, like how I communicate with the people in China CDC, and also because of my network, I have a lot of friends They're working in the first line in the dirty zone of China during COVID-19. I have talking uh, this kind of chat record uh, to them, and also uh, I can show it to you later. Okay, so you, you believe your life is in jeopardy and you will not go back to Hong Kong? How come? Of course, because I know how they treat whistleblowers. For the case, that's how our government has done to keep people silent if they want to reveal the truth, not only about COVID-19, but also for the other things happened in China. For example, during SARS time, the senior doctor, Professor Jiang Yanyong, had revealed it in Beijing, and then he got punished. And also this time, uh, Professor Zhang Yongzhen in Shanghai, his team revealed the sequence of the SARS-CoV-2 at the first time in the world and published it on Nature on 3rd February this year. And then his P3 lab was shut down by the government. Well, uh, the Chinese embassy here in the U.S. says they don't know who you are. And to quote them, they say, we've never heard of this person referring to you. What do you say to that, doctor? Of course, they won't know me because I'm not the top virologist, as they know, who works directly as a consultant for WHO. But I am the one who work with them directly, and I am the core team member in that uh, in that lab who communicate uh, Kate with China's first line doctors to this WHO lab. Okay. La last question here, and I asked you who's investigating your story. Maybe I can reframe the question. What yeah. is the U.S. government now able to do with your information, doctor, if you're right? Uh, I, I'm waiting to tell all the things I know. 
provide all the evidence to U.S. government. And I want them to understand. I also want U.S. people to understand how terrible this is. It's not what you have thought. It's not what you have read through the media or listen from our China government, even WHO. This is something really different. And we have to chase the true uh, trace the true evidence and get the real answer because this is a key point to solve this pandemic. Mm. If not, we really don't have much time. Well, if you're right, doctor, you are showing an awful lot of courage in your own personal life today. You can thank read you. more about your story at foxnews.com. Doctor, thank you for your time. Li Ming Yan here in the United States. Good luck to you. I hope you stay thank safe. Thank you very much. Thank you, doctor.